Just when I thought the drama for Assassin's Creed Shadows would be beyond us, we have some new drama that's popped up. And this is according to Insider Gaming, this is from data mined information from Reddit. We're gonna go ahead and get into it, but this says, Assassin's Creed Animus Hub reveals season pass content for Shadows and more. What does that mean? Well, according to a new data mine leak of the Assassin's Creed Animus Hub, which is set to launch alongside AC Shadows, has revealed season pass content and more. Um, obviously, Insider Gaming said that they reported it by Insider Gaming. The Animus originally called Assassin's Creed Infinity Hub will launch alongside AC Shadows. But here's where the information gets spicy. It's a little bit of drama. We love some drama. Um, it says, data mined and leaked by Reddit user Thorites, the battle pass will be called Eye in the Dark, containing 20 different cosmetic tiers. Insider Gaming has also heard of three other battle passes previously named The Hidden Network, The Last Ronin, In the Shadows, all of which had 20 different tiers, but it's unclear when or if they will get released. So yeah, there's going to be a battle pass with Assassin's Creed Shadows. Now, should we have to worry about microtransactions? You know, the, the aggressiveness of the microtransactions. We'll talk about that in a minute because we do have some official comments from Assassin's Creed and Ubisoft's community manager um, that kind of make this whole situation a little bit less crazy, but we will continue. Uh, the data mine leak also reveals the Animus Hub will have an in-game store where you can pl where players can buy cosmetic items for their characters, environments, and even pets. Um, and they have obviously leaked images we're not going to show on the screen. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the actual Reddit thread itself. This is where things get pretty spicy. Now, we, like I said, we do have some new comments from the Assassin's Creed or Ubisoft community manager that, again, make this whole situation less crazy. But let's go ahead and talk about the initial leak and we will dive into the rest. Um, it says Ubisoft, UB and Ubisoft have DMCA takedown stuff, so you have to be careful I mean, that's just company being company. I really wouldn't like tie that to just Ubisoft, but uh, they said this is a first look at the loading room of the Animus Hub where you as the player are controlling the avatar of Yasuke. Uh, we've got battle pass information. There's uh, once you complete the battle pass, you get materials called Isu coins, uh, which can be used in exchange for new content. Now, additionally, there is uh, some other stuff you get by completing the battle pass called 22 Tara uh, Tatara coal. And then 22 lacquered metal, I think it's called. Uh, and then you get the following cosmetic, the Cerulean Nexus. Uh, the blue light of these blades seem to come from a distant point in time, but their impact is ageless. Disappear into blue, a deep azure in this intricate outfit. There's the Cer uh, Cerulean guy's hood, Cerulean puzzle tinker or trinket, and then the Cer Cerulean glitch, which I'm guessing that's like the blade. Um, season one battle pass cosmetic assets. You've got the single blue sword, the head cosmetic and the stuff we just mentioned. Now there are photos of these again. I'm not trying to get taken down by Ubisoft. So you'll have to find those out on yourself. Um, there's a character pack photo, which has one uh, X Oni Yuri Katsu, 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 Kagatsuchi. I, I don't know. Uh, Shinobi outfit, the uh, Ganojo. Yeah, we're, we're not even going to pronounce that stuff. Um, there's the Sekiro weapon pack for 600 helix credits, and then they have just a bunch of photos of everything. So there's going to be a battle pass for the next game. It will be directly tied with the Animus hub, but you know, initially like my, I, I honestly, I saw this and I was like, what are, what is Ubisoft doing? Are they deliberately trying to shoot themselves in the foot at every single like pass? Like what, what are we doing here, bro? Like what, what's, what's the point in this? But we do have some information from Ubisoft that I do want to confirm, which we do have some clarification from Ubisoft themselves on the whole situation. This is from Insider Gaming. Obviously, this was also posted on the Reddit of Assassin's Creed, and we're just going to go ahead and talk about it. So they said a message from the team on the Animus Hub. Hello, everyone. It has come to our attention that inaccurate rumors have been circulated online regarding the upcoming Animus Hub, X codename Infinity. We wanted to take this occasion to clarify that all rewards available in the Animus Hub will be entirely free. There are no paid subscriptions or battle pass featured in the Animus Hub, and players will have access to regular content and missions at no extra cost. And we will unveil more details closer to the launch of Assassin's Creed Shadows. Thank you. So yeah, that pretty much confirms it. That's all of the rumor. That's the drama. There's going to be a battle pass, but it's not going to be a paid battle pass. All the stuff is going to be free. So basically what this tells me 
is they just want you guys playing the game. They want you coming back to play Assassin's Creed to get all these cool cosmetics, which I mean, I guess you can't really blame them, but it's kind of weird to have a battle pass in a single player game. Granted, this is like a hub thing where you unlock it through the hub. And I'm guessing if you want to just play the game, then all of that stuff will be separate. I, at least I hope so. I don't know. What I will say is the some of the cosmetics that we do have from this thing, are they look pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I probably will equip some of them, but I don't know. Like, something about just a battle pass on a single player game, like, it will always be off-putting. Um, but, I mean, it's Ubisoft. They're going to keep on doing what they have to do to get people coming back to the game. And maybe that is how they're going to do it with this whole battle pass system. That's what people are used to. A game comes out, they play the battle pass, call it a day. Um, this is also an attempt for them to go live service, but it sounds like that it's going to be a better model than what we initially thought. I'm sure there's still going to be like a store where you could spend real money, but the fact that the battle pass on the Animus Hub is fully free, all the cosmetics are free as well. Um, they probably just require you to play the game. That's that's fine with me. Like doing challenges in the game to just keep me playing would be okay. I personally won't do it, but some people might love Assassin's Creed and that's all they want to do is play Assassin's Creed and now they have a reason to. So uh, yeah, I think the drama is a little bit over uh, overblown, but it is what it is. I mean, Ubisoft has done a pretty unfortunate job at you know addressing things, uh, especially with the whole situation from last year or like earlier in the year with you know the DEI and woke stuff that you know people were complaining about. Um, yeah, no, I think that this is a good response from them. They were, they jumped out in front of it and they're just like, hey, this is the situation. All the stuff is free. Stop yelling at me. I have a family. <laughs> uh, the, the people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and shout out to UB Waldo for clarifying that. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, no, I think uh, it's kind of a, you know, like I'll let you guys decide. I know a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, no, this should not be anywhere near the game. And while I agree, I don't think it's as bad as it could have been. Um, obviously, this is them just kind of inching closer. Like, it could be them inching closer. Like, okay, we have a battle pass in this game. Maybe next game, we're going to make it so that you could buy the battle pass while we'll the paid tier. Like, th that's what they do is they inch closer. They take an inch forward, you know, or or, or rather they, they basically take a mile and they're just like, okay, we can't do this, but we can, you know, go like halfway and then we'll just keep inching forward to that eventual, you know, paid microtransactions in this, like the single player game. Uh, I doubt they'll do anything paid to like pay to win, but there's definitely going to be a battle pass in the future. And there will likely be a paid version in the next few games. Guaranteed. Like there's, they wouldn't do it right now if there's not going to be like a paid tier straight up. But I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are on this whole situation. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, this has been Wes. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.